Uh, but you can see there's a lot of fields. That's just Slaveburn Township. That's not the manor. That's just Slaveburn Township. You've got Newton, you've got West Bradford, you've got Grimbleton. So you can see that the courts um, had a, a lot of work to do when all this land was potentially up for conveyance. Um, what can we say? <laughs> I'm not going to read it all out, but the Wigglesworths of Town Head, there was big um, landowners in the 18th century in Slavery, long before the King Wilkinson's arrived on the scene. Um, and they bought up, for instance, Barcroft piecemeal. It's disappeared as a name. Um, that's in farmers in the area. They've never heard of Barcroft. I've never met a farmer in the area that knew where Barcroft was. Um, and it's now just a big set of fields going up towards. Um, House. Um, again, you can work all this out from the court rolls, that's why I love using it. Rents for copyhold. What did the farmers pay? They paid four pence an acre, four old pence. And that was for old, what we call old land, that was um, enclosed many, many centuries ago. In 1619, you've got all the improvements Champion, Burnmore, uh, Brongill Moor, which is around uh, Newton, West Bradford Moor. Uh, and they were generally charged at six pence an acre. And those rents never changed, all the way up to 1922, when copyholders were extinguished. So the tenants who could pass this land on from father to son were actually owning a fairly valuable commodity. And the eventual laws of manor were not getting much in the way of income. Now, just when you do some of the things that you can find in the court laws, these are extracts from 1715. Um, you get the court henning, court baron, and the, the lords of the and ladies of the manor, by this time went the monarchs, so the, the manor had been granted that by Charles II in 1660. Um, you've got the jury. <coughs> Inquisition post mortem, quite common, tenant dies. What happens to the copyhold land? Well, the heir comes in front of a jury, says, Look, I'm the heir, please can I be admitted um, to the title of this copyhold land. And here you've got Christopher Park at Hondale. Hondale's still there, I think, isn't it, near Newton? Um, he had six acres uh, on Brongan Moor, which is a big area, not just Brongan and the farmers it stands today. And some land on Burnmoor and some common moss, where they did turns, presumably. It's a Christopher Parker, and his son um, inherits, I think, is it? Yes, this is uh, yes, John Parker. Slammer Rose Gold, spelling Slim Rome, Jane Locals will know that near, near Newton. And he's of full age and he's admitted and he pays a fine. The fine is 